everyone, I'm Megan Donnelly from Able Cine, coming to you from the Airy booth at Cine Gear 2015. And I'm here with Mike Wagner. Today we're going to check out the new Sky Panel from Airy and see some of its nice versatility options. So Mike, why don't you tell me a little bit about the light? Tell me about the tunability and different functions. Yeah, sure. So the Sky Panel is a fully tunable LED soft light. Um, so, you know, with our L series, which are LED Fresnel line, we're kind of building off of that technology and kind of putting it into a package, a soft light package. Um, so in terms of the tunability, we're able to adjust the color temperature all the way from 2800 degrees Kelvin to 10,000 degrees Kelvin. In addition to that, we could also adjust the green magenta point so we could add green or add magenta so you could really fine tune the color that you're looking for for either a certain camera or to match other light sources in the scene. Uh, and then of course it's extremely bright. So you get a lot of output for it. It's, about the, it's actually brighter than a 2,000 watt tungsten soft light. So you're getting quite a bit of punch out of there. In addition to the, to the color temperatures, we could also go into this kind of this vivid color mode and get all of these different kind of what I call party colors, right? So you could get these really saturated colors. And then if you find the color that you like, you could also adjust the saturation of that color to kind of really fine tune and hone in the color that you're looking for. So in terms of tunability, it's extremely versatile. It's one of the, actually it's the only soft light that I know of that can do all of what I just showed you. It also looks really user friendly and easier to yeah, learn so as well. On the back, um, what I was doing, what you couldn't see before, was that there are basically three very simple knobs on the back here. You have your intensity knob, your color temperature or hue, depending on which mode that you're in, and the green magenta or saturation control here. So it's very intuitive. You can kind of, a lot of people just walk up to it and kind of know how to use it almost instantly just because of how simple the, um, it's all set up. Um, you, know, you can even do we have a bunch of connectors on the bottom here, which if you wanted to do things remotely, we have DMX in and out, so five pin DMX in and out on the bottom. In addition to that, we have an, uh, an EtherCon port, so you can do network connectivity like ArtNet. You can even do software updates over the EtherCon. We also have a USB-A port on the bottom, uh, which allows you to, again, to do software updates. Uh, on the right side here, we have the power input, which gets power from a power supply, um, or you could do a battery input. So uh, you could do anything from 23 to 36 volts battery input on the back here. The one caveat with that is that because this is a 400 watt uh, fixture, a lot of the industry standard batteries can't support that much current draw. So we actually have to limit the amount of output with the fixture to about 50% of what it's uh, capable of. So that's one caveat, but you can uh, control it through battery or power through battery. And why don't you tell me a little bit about the different accessories available, so yeah. the diffusion panels. So we tried to make the sky panel really as versatile as possible. So we knew that people were going to use it in a lot of different applications in a lot of different ways. So we tried to make it as easy to switch out accessories as possible. So on the top here, we have uh, just a latch that you could unlock, flip it open, and pull out one diffusion panel and put in another. So we have, this is our standard diffusion. Have uh, different kinds of diffusions, like a heavy diffusion and a light diffusion. So if I just want to put the the heavy diffusion in, I just slide it in, lock the top, and now I have a more kind of a, even a more diffuse source before. We have a lot of other accessories planned. We have a, a accessory slot here, so we could put things like egg crates, uh, honeycombs barn doors we could put on here and a, a slew of other things. So in terms of, you know, typically when you have a soft light, then you want to control the light in a way. We're trying to make all of those tools so that you could control the light and kind of sculpt it in whatever way that you, you want to. And I know you have a few different models available. You have the S60 and the S30, right. as well as a remote phosphor. So why don't you tell us a little bit about those differences? Yeah, that's correct. So this is the S60C, what we've been looking at. The C stands for color. So that's all that, that tunability that we were talking about before. We have a remote phosphor version of the same size. And what remote phosphor is basically is we're using one color LED, a blue LED, and that blue LED is igniting a phosphor plate that you put in front of it. So instead of actually tuning the different color LEDs inside of the unit, we're actually making white light by putting these phosphor panels in there. So these phosphor panels, you could actually swap out. So we have different color temperature panels going from 2700, 3200, 43, 56, and 6,500. We even have a green for doing green screen lighting. Um, so it, you get a little bit less versatility with the remote phosphor, uh, but you still get to change the color temperatures, and it's, so it's not as quick. Um, but you do get a little bit more brightness. The remote phosphor is about roughly 10% brighter, and it is also less expensive as well because uh, all, all the brains inside are a little bit less complicated. Um, so in addition to those two, which is the S60 version, we have an S30. 
So the S30, and we both have a C and a remote phosphor version of that as well. The S30 is literally just the same uh, configuration, only half the size. So it's kind of like a one by one, but you get all the same features, all the same, you know, with, in battery mode, you can actually power that one at 100% of its uh, available output uh, because it's uh, 200 watts instead of 400 watts. Um, so that one is, again, yeah, that one's kind of like a little bit more of a more portable run and gun type of a situation because you could be completely on, you know, just two batteries on the back and you don't need any kind of wall power or anything like that and it's much lighter weight and all those good things. So, so I love the versatility. It looks like a really great green screen. We talked about portraits, soft shadows, yeah. and it has a large aperture for soft shadows, correct? That's right. So, you know, with soft lights, large aperture is extremely important. You know, the larger the aperture, the better with soft lights. Um, you know, you see a lot of other products out there that have, you know, a very small aperture, and what that does is that it, it creates a lot more harder, har harsh shadows, very hard, more crisp shadows than you really want from a soft light. So the large aperture is really important. We also are working with Chimera to make a light bank for this, so if you wanted to get the same quality of light, but even in a larger aperture, you could just simply slip the soft bank on the front, and then you get that larger aperture. And you know, from the customers that we've shown the product to so far, the applications are really wide. You had mentioned green screen. Again, if you kind of just want to pop it into color mode and you know, kind of tune in that green spike that you want, you could do that really easily and get a really nice key. The other thing that a lot of customers are telling us is that they want to use it as a space light. You know, kind of put a lot of them up in the rig and have it down. And even the, the standard diffusion gives you a really beautiful pool of soft light, just like a, uh, you know, a conventional soft light, tungsten soft light does. So you could use it without the silk, but if you really wanted that aesthetic look of the silk, you could use that as well. In fact, this fits perfectly inside of a 6K silk, a standard 6K silk. So you could just use the stuff that's already out there. Uh, and you know, again, it, it, it's versatile enough that you could really do whatever you want with it and light however you want with it. Right. Um, yeah. When do you think we'll start seeing these ships? When can we expect to see them in production? Yeah, so they are planned to ship from our factory in September of this year, uh, which means that they'll probably arrive in the States uh, at around October. And we're taking pre-orders now, so if people are interested, we'll kind of have a queue of people uh, coming uh, in that list. So, yeah. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much. Looks like a beautiful light. I can't wait to see it on our showroom floor. So come to Able City soon to check it out. Thank you, Mike, and thanks everyone for watching.